The objective of this lecture is to give you an overview of the MVC pattern. By the end of it, you will know what MVC is, the advantages of it and how it works. MVC puts the user interaction into three roles namely model, view and the controller and that is what it stands for model view controller pattern. The view represents our domain model or the application data model. The view will present this model to the end user. For example, if we are working on a hospital management application and we have all the patient information inside the model, the view will allow the end user, it could be a doctor, a service desk or a customer service representative or a friend desk representative at a hospital, they can pull in the model information on the view and they can manipulate that data back and forth. The view doesn't directly interact with the model, but it does it through the controller. So it sends the user actions to the controller, which then decides which particular model is impacted. It manipulates the model, the controller manipulates the model, takes the response or the latest model and sends it back to the view, which will then render it. That is one of the very important principles. The separation of the view and the model is where we derive a lot of advantages from MVC that is one of the guiding principles of MVC pattern. The first advantage is reusability. Since we separate out the model, we can use the same model for multiple views. For example, we can use it for a web application, a mobile application and a kiosk application. Kiosk application can also interact with the same model components. As we separate out the model and the user interface, we can test them out easily as it's easy to test the model on its own. Once we combine the model and UI, it's hard to mock out all the user interactions or the UI interactions and the UI components. Testing, unit testing especially becomes difficult if they are one single thing. How many times have you seen developers complaining they want to work on the back end and not on the UI? That's changing in the recent years because of the evolution of several JavaScript frameworks. So separating out the view and the model gives us an advantage wherein developers can specialize in the backend and some developers can specialize in the UI space. That is why you see a lot of job openings where they ask for UI developers or the backend Java developers. Last but not the least, once we separate out the view, the model, it's our application becomes very easy to maintain. If some production issue happens, we can easily isolate it to the model or the view and work on the respective code pieces and fix it quickly. The two popular MVC frameworks in the Java space are Struts and Spring MVC. More about that later on. So to summarize from this lecture, you have learned what a MVC pattern is stands for model view and controller. The model represents the entire domain data model of our application. The view represents or allows the users to manipulate that model through the controller. This separation of the view and model offers several advantages like reusability, easy testing, specialization of the UI or the backend development and also easy maintenance.